Victor Wembanyama made his debut last night. Yeah, what'd you think? Um, he had the exact same stat line, I guess, as Tim Duncan in his first game, which is wild when you think of it. Luka took over the game. Yeah. Mavs are a better team. Like, you know, you can't lose sight of the fact that the Spurs were really, they've been an awful team for about five years. Yeah. And that's not going to change just because they got Victor Wembanyama. And yet, you know, he came as advertised. His first points in the NBA it was a three pointer, smooth. You know, he's got size, length. I think, you know, defensively, it's going to take him some time. I got some foul trouble last night. And he looked erratic. He looked a little bit confused at yeah. times. Like there was a couple of switches. He got hit with a couple of high pick and rolls where it was like, where am I going? That's going to take time, though. Like that's the thing about hype players. You still got to remember they're 18 years old. Right. Like they're, they're young guys. They're and, kids in the NBA. It's a man's sport. And he's playing on a team, like you just mentioned, that's really bad, has been really bad for a long time. I don't know if there's anyone there that's really going to guide him along other than Greg Popovich. Right. And how that's, much does Pop really... Like, he's rejuvenated. He cares. You think he'll crack a smile this year? I I just think Pop is... It's going to be a weird transition to see him going back to serious snap show Pop. Yeah. Because the last couple of years, he's looked like a guy that almost doesn't care. Like, I remember they played a game up here, I want to say it was a, two years ago, where he was running through his whole bench... Like, I, he must have played, he played at least 10 guys that night, but I think it was like a 12-man rotation. It made no difference who was going, who wasn't. Right. It was like, we're tanking, we stink. This is about development. Everyone's playing. It was like almost a house league vibe. I remember watching the game thinking, this is wild. Yeah. Like, this guy, everyone played like 23 minutes, 24 minutes. The whole, the whole team. And that's it's, just like a complete lack of commitment to trying to win the game. If you don't have the horses, you just don't have the horses. And everyone yeah. gets to play and, and shoot the ball a little bit, get some reps. But, but that's got to flip at some yeah. point, right? Because Duncan, Duncan would have came in at what? 20, 98. 21? Was yeah, he, 21, I think he might have been like a four-year college player, at least a three-year player. He, for yeah, sure. he definitely came in a little older than yes. Wembanyama. So... Listen, man, like for this kid to have a good night, like he's going to be able to shoot from distance. He's yeah. massive. When he dunks the ball, it looks like he's not even jumping. He's going to be he fun had, to watch. I, I know he had at least one pretty electric block. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he had more, but um, all in all, a pretty good first night for the for the young kid. Man. Absolutely. He's just a young kid. At home against, you know, arch rival Dallas Mavericks. They're not a great team. They lost the game, but what do you have, 15 last night? Yeah. A few boards. He's he is the guy to watch. Like he is the guy. Like I'm, you're getting the LeBron vibes. Like remember when LeBron came into the league, which is now 20 years ago. But it was the same thing. Cleveland awful, 18, but flashes, and you could see where it was going. And it was like you got to play size on this guy. You have to see him play. And and that's what Victor Wembanyama is going to be. I I think for every game this season and probably you know many many games throughout his career. Um, It'll just be how does he progress? Yeah, right. Like how do you go? How great from, can he become? Yeah, how do you go from being? I'm not gonna call him an underdog, but like a nice story every night. Every night there he is, the young rookie phenom kid. He looks pretty good, mm -hmm. but at what point does it turn into now he's dominant? Now he's what LeBron was in his prime. Now he's what Giannis is. Like that'll be telling of of what kind yeah. of career he's gonna have. And that's probably four or five years away. Oh, for sure. You know, you like yeah. you got to give the guy until he's 23, 24. The concern is always going to be injuries with with a guy that big, like yeah, like a Yao Ming. Yes, when you get someone that is that massive, yeah, he's a massive human being, and I understand he's incredibly athletic, which is amazing. I mean, that's why he's a unicorn. He's a one of one, and that's why he can shoot at three and he can defend the perimeter. He can do all types of different things that we've never seen before. But he's you he can't change seven three. No. You can't change. Like, that guy's got to get on a plane and fly five hours at some point. You know what's funny? Him and Zion are very different, right? Like, when Benyama's a stick, mm -hmm. Zion is a massive He looked human. good last night, Zion. He, he, yes. But both those guys, although they're built differently, have the same injury risk because of how obscure their bodies are. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Like, Zion. Because Zion... He is. He's he's a... He's a he's just huge. A massive just, human being. And there's nothing wrong. That's the way he's built. Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course he wants to be in good shape, all that stuff, but he's just a massive human being. And this guy's massive in a different way. Yep. Yeah, he sure is.